recent study of Catholic parishes in the US revealed that a mere 6.4% of parishioners contribute 80% of the volunteer hours at a given parish, while a mere 6.8% of parishioners contribute 80% of financial contributions at a given parish. This study further confirmed that there is an 84% overlap between these two groups of people, meaning that we can conclude that a mere 7% of parishioners are the ones who do the bulk of the work of supporting a parish. Now, you may not realize it, but yesterday's parable of the, of the seed and the sower is saying pretty much the same thing, though in a more covert way. Why do you think it is that the seed that falls in good soil bears 30, 60, or 100 fold? Well, it's to make up for the failure to bear fruit of the seed that fell in the other three places, on the path, in the thorns, and in rocky ground. In today's parable, Jesus explains to us why this is. When he says, the measure that you measure out, the amount that you measure out will be the amount measured out for you and given to you. Meaning that those 7% of parishioners who take the time to invest in their faith, by studying their Bibles, by praying, are the people who are motivated to give to their parish and serve the Lord because they are the ones who've understood Jesus' message. Jesus has measured out to them in large measure of his grace and his wisdom. And so therefore they are motivated to, to serve the Lord and serve their parishes. This is the same thing we see with the disciples in yesterday's gospel, where Jesus tells them, to you it is given to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to everybody else it remains hidden. Because the disciples have given up much to be with Jesus. And so in response to what they have measured out, Jesus measures out in large degree to help them to understand the mysteries of the kingdom because they are the ones who are with him 24-7, having left everything to follow him. Now, before anyone accuses me of trying to make Christianity out to be some semi-Pelagian elitist cult, I want to emphasize that it is a gift of pure grace that the disciples and the 7% of committed Catholics have been chosen by Jesus and measured out a large measure of Jesus' grace. It's nothing that they can take credit for. But if it is true that there is such a small number of Christians who have truly been set alight with the fire of the gospel because they're the ones who truly understand and get Jesus' message, then we should understand the importance of those people not hiding their light under a bushel, like we're told in today's gospel. No, the few who have got it, whose Jesus has lit on fire, need to let their light shine. Now you might be asking yourselves, what can I do just as a little individual? Well, I am going to hazard a guess that if you've been following these reflections for the past three weeks, you're probably one of those 7%. And I think you need to let your light shine. And remember the parable that Jesus has tells us about the yeast and the dough, that it only took a small amount of yeast to leaven three measures of flour of dough. So don't be discouraged. The world needs your light. Let it shine. God bless and have a good day.